Hello, this is Craig Stapleton with another of Innercore's informational videos about our products. Today we're going to be taking a look at the DPX S410. The DPX S410 is the latest of our S series motherboards designed specifically for use in video gaming machines and similar products. The DPX S410 is a very compact, small size uh, but highly integrated motherboard. It's an industrial grade a uh, high reliability product and includes a great many features specifically for use in the chosen application of gaming machines. So there are a lot of features on here that really aren't found in uh, most other motherboards. Some of those features include uh, the very large number of discrete digital inputs and outputs on the motherboard. Those are used for interfacing to buttons and lamps and switches uh, in the slot machine. There's also uh, eight serial ports which are variably configurable and those are for the use with various of the peripherals, cash handling peripherals used in slot machines such as printers, uh, note acceptors and that kind of thing. Another very important feature of the DPEX S410 is the separate intrusion detection logging processor system. The intrusion detection logging processor system is a separate nanowatt microcontroller which is separate from the main CPU on the motherboard and operates under its own battery power. The purpose of this system is to monitor cabinet doors and keep an event log of any opening or closing of those cabinet doors. This system is operational even when the game isn't running, the software is not running and the machine is powered down because it runs under its own battery. Another very important feature on the DPEX S410 is the non-volatile storage memory um, or battery-backed SRAM. Uh, we have a large amount, uh, 2 megabytes or 4 megabytes of onboard non-volatile memory, which is very fast access speed, which allows the game application to store important machine information such as the state of the machine, the last game outcomes, the uh, soft metering, coin in, coin out type of information. Uh, that can all be stored on the motherboard in a battery backed SRAM. Now all these features on the DPX S410 that have been developed specifically for gaming have been developed by InnoCore over several generations of products which mean that they are very robust, uh, reliable systems and fully covered by drivers and a very extensive software API that we have developed um, over those generations of products. So the DPX S410 really is a standalone board. It, uh, apart from being the core processor graphics engine for a game, it also has all of these peripheral uh, functions for security and uh, I.O., extra serial ports, etc. etc. Okay, let's take a closer look at the features of the board itself. Okay, looking at the DPX S410 motherboard, uh, the first thing we know is uh, the CPU. This one has the CPU and it's cooler fitted. Uh, here, uh, you can see how small and compact that cooler is um, because this is a mobile, an Intel uh, mobile platform, uh, meaning that uh, both the CPU and the chipset are very low power, meaning that's all of the cooling uh, heatsink and uh, fan that's required to cool the uh, CPU, which is a major advantage inside of a gaming machine where you just don't want a lot of heat. Uh, that needs to be uh, taken out of the uh, logic box where the motherboard is, is placed. So uh, the chipset itself is the Intel 965, GME 965, which is a seven year long availability uh, chipset from Intel. Uh, the companion CPUs are Core 2 Duo and Celeron M CPUs. There's a, quite a wide range of CPUs for a very wide range of price and uh, performance uh, to pretty much suit any need. Uh, the chipset itself includes an integrated graphics core which is uh, the GMA uh, 3100 from Intel which is a pretty high performance uh, integrated graphics core. Uh, there are two versions of the DPX uh, 410 as well. This version here is uh, called SDVO and it only supports the uh, integrated graphics from the chipset. Uh, this version over here, however, uh, is notable because it uh, has the graphics card slot. This is a PCI Express, a full X16 bandwidth graphics card slot, so you can fit uh, standard graphics cards into this. Uh, back to the first board. Um, 
The next feature of note, we have two SO DIMM style memory slots here. Um, it is a full uh, dual channel memory implementation, so maximum uh, performance is available there. Um, the other PC features, we have uh, three serial ATA ports down here for storage devices. We have a standard ATX power input over here. Uh, on the top side, on the edge, you can see we have an array of standard PC connections. Two, uh, two PS2 connections for keyboard and mouse. We have two towers which include LAN 1, a gigabit Ethernet, LAN 2, also gigabit Ethernet, four standard connectors for USB. Then we have two video outputs, analog VGA on this one, and also analog VGA on this. It's a DVI connector, but uh, in the standard build of the DPX S410 SDVO, only the analog side of this connector is available. Then we have momentary contact switches for power and reset. Uh, the power switch is not required if the board is set into the uh, optional AT mode. Audio, the next standard sort of PC feature to point out. Um, the board has a, uh, a Realtek high definition audio codec on board. And then we have available on the top here um, full 5.1 surround sound channels, uh, including a uh, digital SPDIF output. We also have on board a two channel, left and right channel audio amplifier for 10 watts per channel and you can connect speakers directly to this for left and right channels. So uh, a lot of flexibility there including on board audio amplifier. Uh, another storage option, two compact flash sockets. Then we get on to the gaming specific functions. Uh, let's start first with the gold fingers. This is where you can connect to the 32 discrete inputs and outputs and eight serial ports are available on this side. Uh, the eight serial ports are configurable uh, with CC Talk and 485 and 422 options. This little connector here is a general purpose I.O. GPIO, two channel GPIO connector which can also be fitted with an I button carrier uh, so that Dallas iButton devices can be fitted. This big connector here is a multifunction connector that carries the extra USB ports that are not on the on the top side here. Uh, they're available on this connector. It also carries the power fail detect which is a dedicated input into the motherboard for detecting uh, early detection of power fail uh, and another feature called quiet mode. Uh, those inputs are also available on this multifunction connector. On board we also have the 32 kilobyte EEPROM which can be used by the uh, application for extra storage. Uh, we have a watchdog timer, we have a trusted platform module as well as the SRAM that we mentioned earlier. So that's the DPX S410. Um, overall size is just 170 by 200 millimeters. So it's a very compact and highly integrated board, as you can as you can see. Another thing I'd like to point out on the DPX S410 is how similar it is to the predecessor product, the DPX 112. Uh, this one in my left hand is the DPX 112, and this is the S410. And as you can see, they're mechanically uh, identical. Connectors are all in the same place, mounting holes in the same place. So the customers who've developed uh, games and products around the DPX S112 uh, can very easily uh, upgrade to the, uh, the new products as they come along. And that's a feature of our roadmap. Uh, of course the S410 itself uh, has got the seven year Intel uh, chipset life cycle which means that InnoCore guarantees five years of manufacturing availability for this product. Okay, so that's the DPX S410 motherboard. Uh, I'd also like to point out that we also have available uh, two standard enclosures for the S410. Uh, this enclosure for the SDVO version and this larger enclosure at the back which will fit the graphics card for the PCI Express version of the DPX S410. These will be uh, no doubt the subject of upcoming uh, home videos from InnoCore. So please keep watching our YouTube channel for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.